Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. Get ready, My Long Island TV starts now. Well, as the exhibition is basically marking the 25 years of the infamous garbage barge that went all around the East Coast looking for a place to land and never succeeded, um, we decided to uh, commemorate the uh, journey by choosing artists who recycle work, um, some from garbage, some from just stuff that you would never think that would be that would create art. We had almost 200 entries, and from that I chose approximately 50. Um, there were very many good pieces of work that, well, we just didn't have room for, so I tried to choose what I thought was the best or the most unusual. I build the Capacity Project, and it's an installation that uh, varies depending on the location and the space. Uh, that makes it sometimes a site-specific work, and in this case, it was something I had already designed. Uh, it's all about how much trash we generate, and it's to create an awareness of that fact that we generate humongous volumes of trash. All the work in the piece that's behind me is from my own house. I advertised in the phone books. I ate all the food that came in those containers. It starts in the kitchen inside the box I call home it's all of the material that comes with the food that you don't eat and I started to gather it because I didn't have garbage service and I said okay what am I gonna do with this how do I make a statement that explains you know what I'm experiencing and what I see is something that needs to change and it just sort of went from there people can look at it, it appeals to adults uh, and it appeals to children. It appeals to people because they can identify some of the materials in there um, and children just like it because it's colorful. There's little things they can pick up and move around. The piece I have is a life-sized elephant, <laughs> almost a life-sized elephant. Um, and, I, and I did it because, I, because my friends were interested in the god Ganesha whose head was chopped off and then he got an elephant head in exchange. And so I started building an elephant head. <laughs> uh, my piece is called Pupsy, and it's a dog made out of one liter Pepsi bottles. You know, I've had a history of, you know, doing things out of found objects, recycled objects, and um, I guess plastic, there's so much plastic around that it sort of like seemed to be the next, the next material. You know, the meaning of it is up to you, but I think that the, there's certainly the idea of like throwaway culture, or like uh, the landscape being absorbent, you know, like thinking about oil spills in the Gulf or flooding, uh, extreme weather, sort of the polluting of the land, and and the USA is kind of being like a, uh, known for its materialism and kind of throwaway culture, taking something used and dirty uh, and making something you know, interesting to look at in a recognizable format. The project is called Geomorphic Tank, in which uh, the organic and the industrial, they merge to create uh, a replication of a wound star site where, you know, where, you know, all the, the buildings and anything that's broken and, you know, uh, destructed buildings, they lie there and then, you know, slowly you see the growth coming out of it, plants. So it's like a regeneration project. I'm a watercolorist, and since I don't do sculpture, ceramics, or any type of crafts, I try to figure out how watercolors could be used to show refuse. And what I did was I took a very bucolic scene and littered it, actually, with bottles and cans and trash, and then the title says, why? Why do people destroy nature is what I'm really getting at. I'm a sculptor and uh, my piece is called Phoenix Rising and it's based on the concept of may your spirit be lifted on wings of joy so I wanted something very uplifting I use feathers I use glass I do a lot of uh, sculpture and crushed glass and uh, anything that's illuminating and um, exciting mm -hmm. 